Welcome back, everybody, to some more EU4 with me, Daniel from Dan Has Fun. Last episode, for me recording-wise, was like six weeks ago. So I had to do a little bit of remembering, went back, checked the video, and in typical fashion, past Daniel left himself in a war, and then allowed present Daniel to just kind of mop, you know, clean up the mess. Which is fine. So we're at war with a lot of different nations. However, we still have our alliance with Britain and Portugal. That will have to change in the near future, because if we want to form Rome, we need territory from both. A lot of territory from Portugal, as it happens. So we will almost certainly have to fight them both simultaneously. We'll have to keep an eye out on that. For now, though, what we're trying to do really is grab as much land for the Roman Empire as we can. We're going to try and grab the land from Poland that we need. Hopefully that way we'll not have to get into war with them again, but we'll see. They are the Holy Roman Emperor, so maybe. Maybe we will, maybe we won't. We do still have to grab a significant amount of land in northern France. We can't take some of them out in this war. We're going to try and take the two provinces for Brittany. Uh, we'll take some of the Palatinate. Of the Palatinate? Yeah, oh, it's Provence, okay. Starts with P and it's a blue colour on the map, so pretty close, but no cigar. We do need a province off Liège, but we're not involved with that, so we'll have to wait on that front. <coughs> For now, though, we'll unpause. I do have this massive stack of 112,000 troops coming over to northern Italy, because clearly that's where most of their troops are concentrated. We're slowly sieging out Poland. So let's unpause. We'll go down to speed 2 temporarily, just so we can try and gain some of our bearings. That trio stack did not get stat wiped. They took a big old chunk of infantry out. But what are you going to do? Where are you going? You're going to Brno, which is a grassland. So if we can catch them, that would be ideal. Let's see if we can clip that Polish stack. Oh, there's another stack nearby, too. Where are they going? Even though we have less morale, we may still be able to win that. And if we can, at least it'll drag everybody away from our territory, which isn't too bad. It gives us time for our big stack to wander on over. We can't commit every troop stack we have. It's just too dangerous. Couple of provinces in Poland. We've got covered. Beautiful. We can't go to Brakla. I guess we can go to Burlad. And we should be safe-ish. Most of Poland's troops are in Bohemia right now. The yeah, is going to have to give money to Bavaria. Again, we're not at war with them. We'll deal with them afterwards. Religion-wise, look like we we're starting to help convert our state, uh, our client state. I guess that's not a bad thing to do. Also starting to convert some of Armenia before we end up eating the land ourselves is probably beneficial. 83% religious unity is not too, too bad. We did win that fight against Poland, but not exactly convincingly. We'll see if we can try and bop. Is anybody sieging an actual fort? Doesn't look like it. Okay. We're at war with Silly. We are. I don't know if we need that land or not, but let's let's start getting rid of it, getting it out of the way. I don't think we need that for Rome. No, we don't. Okay. And they are starting to form up at a fort, which is only on a grassland, which is a little bit of a shame, but... Okay, we'll split this stack up just a smidge, just to reduce a bit of attrition. Siege of Pud... Poda, Podole? I don't know. I'm going to call it Podol. They're already on the way towards prison. That's fine. There is one more fort over here. Yep. So we'll get that one taken. There's a... Well, it's only a 1,000 stack of troops that Poland has there. Who cares about that? That's fine. Probably don't need a third stack in the proximity, though. Let's start going to Krakow and see if... Can we piece Poland out separately? We can, so they might... Well, they're not going to yet. They have high war enthusiasm, but... If we can get them out separately, 
I, I would like that. I don't want to beat them up too much in case Russia attacks them. That would not be beneficial for us. They haven't moved from our fort yet. Oh wait, one month's worth of tick. Get some morale. Like that. Thank you, Cologne, for causing attrition on my stack. That's really nice of you. Revolt in Navarra. Oh, Britain's about to stomp that anyway, so that's convenient. Why are they coming down south? Is there anything? Oh, they might be coming to the Dutch North Africa holding. Which, if they want to do that, A-OK. -okay. I'm not going to, but if they want to waste their time and do that, I am, yeah, very, very happy with that. That Swiss stack is getting a big old smacking. Stop sieging some of this. Just gonna, it's not disastrous if they have it. It's just going to cause a little bit of devastation that we don't really need to have happen. Yeah, the Swiss stack got stack wiped. All of this is mountain, so I'd rather not attack them here. Get away with it. Graz is woodland. It's a little bit better, so we'll have a look for it. Make sure we're not being surprised up in the Dutch territory. No, we're not. They have 30,000 troops, but that's nothing. Well, relative to what we have over there, anyway. Only 2,000 troops we're going to catch. Okay, that's fine. It's 1,000 horses and 1,000... And they say cavalry, the same thing. 1,000 horses and 1,000 cannons. It's nothing, to, it's nothing to sneeze at. Where are you guys all running to? That's a hill. I wonder if we can catch them there. Ooh, the Siege of Nimour is finally done. That's going to free up nearly 60,000 troops. Britain's probably going to claim some of this, which will be suboptimal. But we'll see. We're going to go Siege Bruges while we have our navy over there, because it'll just siege a little bit faster that way. No more Polish troops over here that we can't handle? No, but there are 59,000 Polish revolutionaries. Which will hopefully reduce Poland's willingness to... Well, they're still still happy to fall, but it might reduce their willingness soon. Okay, you need to hold fire, Sunshine, because we don't want to send all of our troops in separately. Having said that, you're still on mountain, you're on mountain. That's not very many troops. So we'll... we'll Attack them in that one little location. Keep the stackers back up just in case. I'm thinking because we're going to be attacking in two places, we should be fine. But where are they going? Ah, oh, it's mountain in the middle. You're going to... Okay, you're not. And that's fine. It's only a small stack that's going to go over towards the mountain. Uh, this group can go over, start besieging Grizia. Where are you going? Salzburg, that's definitely a mountain. That's a mountain anyway, but that's such a small number of troops, I think I can bop them before they can form everything together. And I can catch you just. It's going to initially hurt, we're going to be outnumbered two to one briefly. Yeah, now, now we outnumber them nearly two to one. They're all running away to Augsburg. If we can catch them in Augsburg, I will be very, very happy, because that's just a grassland, so no, no attacking penalty. However, that's not going to be what happens. We're going to end up... We're going to end up hitting them in this mountain, aren't we? Yeah, there's absolutely no way to avoid it. Okay, fine, we'll send all three stacks in. If you're going to end up in a situation like that, you've got to fully commit... Still no real Polish troops over here. Nope, we're good. Okay. So, the Battle of Linek. Painful for both sides, but I have the manpower and they don't. We want to keep pressing our advantage against Poland. We only ended up attacking a very small rear guard of Dutch troops, which, honestly, very happy to see. Because that could, that could have got very painful in the mountains. Ottoman separatists. separatists. Words are hard. I don't have any troops over here, really, do I? 
That was an oversight. Where else is about to rebel? Okay, so Iraqi Separatists, which I imagine will be over here. There's 44k stack. Can we get another leader? How many leaders do we have right now? Okay, we're at our cap. Leader that's not doing anything. Uh, you 5552 individual. Who are you? Giuseppe Montefeltro. We're going to borrow you. We'll go handle it. Thank goodness that 52k stack doesn't have a military leader on it, because that would be... We'd still be able to defeat it, but it'd just be quite painful. Meanwhile, let's go into Augsburg and just try to smack anything we can on the way. 13,000 Polish troops are done. They were mostly horses. Who else are we at war with over here? Palatinate has that one province. These guys, just to try and reduce some attrition, let's go... Uh, let's have... Actually, this 35k stack, you go to Silly. You're already in close proximity. We'll start going over to Heidelberg, but we'll just let them go at their regular speed, because then they should naturally spread out a little bit as they travel. Thank you for leaving your troops on the grassland, Provence. I really appreciate it. It's made life a lot easier. And it's a full stack wipe of what? Like 30-odd thousand troops? Trier's going to Bregenz, which is unfortunately a mountain. And we catch them before they get there. Yes. And Memmingham is farmland, so that is perfect as well. No attacking penalty. I do see that we have troops in northwestern Italy to contend with, but we're not going to worry about them right now. We'll get over to them when we get over to them. The stack wipe. I guess we can go now. There's not really any huge number of troops around us. This is so far so good. Heidelberg's siege has been completed. Curious if you're going to hear in the background the dog's going absolutely bananas. Probably seen a dog or something in the walk across the front garden. We don't have a, we don't have a pavement on our side of the road, but it doesn't seem to matter for them. They think we we own it all. Oh, good old dogs. We not get to Luxembourg? No, we have to go to Trier first. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, and we'll split that stack so we don't get attritioned horribly. Like this 113k stack is. Oh, I guess we just... I guess they... That's a little bit frustrating. All those uh, revolutionaries decided to suicide against us. But now we're going to have to pay attention because there's about 40,000 Polish stack there. Which I thought might come straight for us, but they didn't. Interesting. Well, as soon as one of these sieges completes, we'll, we'll contend with that. Yeah, there's separatism. How many troops do you need for this siege? You need, wow, 41,000 troops. Okay. We will get some more troops for you. There you go. That siege will be able to start in the next maybe three in-game months. This stack has now been sitting around long enough to recover its morale, so let's go over to... Let's go to Utrecht with that stack. Again, we'll get a bonus on sieging that out because of where our navy is currently. Another city demands a seat in Parliament. Which city even is... Which province even is that? Okay, it's in the Egyptian territory. Okay, that's fine. We weren't going to say no regardless of where it is, but it's nice to know where it is. Poland, rather than attacking my small stack of troops, is more interested in desieging Podol, which I am okay with, because I'll take them forever. First stack of Ottoman rebellion, uh, rebellions. Rebellious stack defeated. We can get another ability. We're running out of things to take. We only have two options left, so... We'll just take naval engagement. Not that we're really having any naval engagement to engage in right now. No other nation near us has anywhere near enough naval capacity to really do anything. At least that we're in a war with right now. Portugal has 241 ships and Britain 227. 
probably about double that when you include all their colonies. But yeah, I'm not worried about that. Siege of Naman. You are finally done. You were not the coastal ones. That was just full fat sieging. Will they peace out? Or are they part of the... Yeah, they're part... Yeah, they're not part of a coalition. So they will peace out. They would cost twice as much to take land from. Do I even need land from them? I know we need Zealand, but they don't own Zealand. Liege does. Uh, wrong tab. That was the one I want. Okay, in terms of Dutch land... No, we don't need any of it. We do need Calais, which is another British piece. Uh, no, I tell you, we do need one Dutch province. We need that province of Kamajik. Okay. If you, will you just give us it? Okay, you would. And that is about all they would do. I'm okay with that. Purely because I can free up a lot of troops. And they'll be on a separate peace timer as well. Okay, done. Thank you for your one province. It has a level 8 fort in it, which is interesting. Our overextension is still ridiculous. I, I remember that from last episode. It's still horrendous, but we're just going to have to deal with it, nerds. But now all these troops in the Netherlands, which there were a lot, can now be redeployed. So we're probably going to go to... Oh my word, that is the longest trip ever. So go to Stad. Weird to see Holstein have this much land. That's not really typical. And I'm just going to keep a stack in the war goal. Uh, actually, not, not in it, adjacent to it. Let's not attrition it and, you know, make it worse for no reason. Yeah, redeploying these troops is going to be nice. And I didn't even notice that the Provence stack moved. So they've probably been attritioning for no reason for ages. So that's an oopsie doodle. Another couple thousand troops bite the dust. Yeah, Poland does have a fairly significant number of troops in the area, but it's not too bad. Uh, we finally defeated the other Ottoman stacks. We'll just split them in half so we can start getting them to reduce their separatism again. I'll cause them to re revolt more and more too, which is a little bit annoying, but meh, it's fine. As it's taken out this 55,000 stack. Oh no, we lost our conquest CB against the Netherlands. Whatever will we do? Start getting his and Kafer dealt with please we wanted the right religion that was a full stack wipe i did not did not expect that that was a lot of troops to stack wipe i mean i'll take it i'm not upset but i'm surprised let's start splitting them up because again we don't need to attrition for no reason let's send a stack over towards poland just so we have a little bit of a buffer and then one stack is going to come to the capital in case they start trying to siege anywhere that's a little bit more sensitive then the smaller stack is going to come de-siege some of those properties properties provinces on the east each of tria is done do they have a fort in anything else i don't even think they do and again i'm pretty sure let's make sure as a precaution i don't need any land from tria right no i don't essentially i need all of provence which I don't know if we'll take it all in one go. We still have to be a little bit careful with aggressive expansion and frankly our ludicrous overextension we have to keep an eye on too. Uh, something that we should probably consider though, considering that we're so good on tech, is it might be worth taking another policy and especially in the military department. Modern firearm Techniques would give us 15% more combat ability and essentially cost us one military point per month. Hmm. No, I don't think we're going to do that. We're going to wait until we get diplomatic ideas completed, I think, because then 
the pen relies on the sword act, I think is significantly better. More diplomatic reputation means more eating of Armenia. And the land force limit modifier, I think, is really, really helpful. We may end up getting to the point where we can not just be naval hegemon, but potentially be military hegemon as well. We don't have that option right now. We're only at 714,000 maximum capacity. We need to get to a million, I believe, for that. But we're not that far away in the grand scheme of things. Okay, yep. The revolt is now cleared up. The Battle of Stad. I didn't even notice they had a stack in the Holstein territory. Whoopsie doopsie. How many troops do we need? The siege that out. 31? Well, when they regroup, they will get those numbers. How many do we need here? 31? Same logic. So yeah, in a couple of ticks due to supply, they'll be fine again. I mean, if you'd be so helpful as to maybe clean up some of those just small... I guess we'll, we can do it, because we do have a group here. Fine, we'll do it. They're only 1,000 stacks. Oh, we can't go straight across. Okay, fine. We'll do it this way, then. I guess we should, once these guys settle, we'll have a couple of them do auto-sieging. That's also a little bit annoying that that's spawned. Let's go over there and try and clear that up. See if we can make it in time. Probably not, but we can try. If you could finish this siege, please, so I can stop them desieging Badol, that would be great. Although, having said that, what's their war enthusiasm at? They're still high war enthusiasm. I guess it's, yeah, it's because of their ally in war. Penalty, well, bonus for them, penalty for us. So they're still pretty happy to be here, which is interesting. Ulich has been, been sieged out. Now let's use you for autonomous sieging. Just the rough area. Yes, you're a pretty big stack to have auto sieging, but I don't want to get surprised by anything. Just having a whole stack bopped would be a little bit inconvenient. Don't expect that to happen, but again, rather be on the side of caution. Oh, Portug Portugal's colony um, is coming over to slap some troops around too. Took them long enough. Separatist sentiment. It's just a horrible event caused by our ridiculous overexpansion. Or overextension, I guess, technically, but... Yes. I think... I was going to say I can move these guys safely, but I'm not convinced I can. But I'll move them to a province where I shouldn't get attrition, at least. I should keep them nearby, I think, for now. Anybody we can peace out, though? So we can peace out Silly. We can peace out Provence, but we're definitely not going to yet. Trier, we can. The Palatinate, we can. I think I'm okay with piecing them out. Do they have any silly treaties to deal with? They do have an alliance with the Netherlands, but if I attack them, it would be the Holy Roman Empire situation anyway. So that's not that big a deal for me. Pillaging them doesn't do anything. So realistically, we're just going to do war reparations, a load of money, and then we're just going to have them break relationships with people, really just to get their peace treaty up a bit. And that way the time it takes longer, they can't join into wars as easily against us, etc, etc. You know the drill by now. We'll probably turn the speed back up to three at this point as well. Still can't complete the siege. Scientific instruments, more innovativeness we don't need. Hooray! That's finally... That's a lot of our provinces coring. So our overextension, which was about 150%, which is horrible... Now at 57, which is far more manageable. Which, I mean, it's for the best. We're going to have to take some provinces soon. Poland's still got high war enthusiasm. It's at 68, so it is dropping, but it's not dropping quickly. 
Yeah, Provence still not happy. The Platinum's still not happy. I'm just going to piece them out because there's, I don't think there's anything I want from them either. I don't think we need... Way broken. I don't think we do, but let's check again as a precaution. Yeah, I don't. But I'm happy to piece these guys out then. Again, all the money. War reparations. We're going to force them to... Uh, do I want to force them to change religion? It doesn't really matter too much, but I am still technically defender of the faith, so it might be worth... Oh, I can't. They're a, oh, yeah, they're a vassal of Poland, aren't they? Yeah. Well, the thought was there. We can't piece them out separately. Alstein, we should be able to... I don't really need anything from them. Oh, no, they won't piece out yet. Huh. I'm surprised by that. Yeah, we'll just keep plugging away then we'll just keep sieging and sieging we can probably move our navy from yeah the coast of holland over to Hel Helgoland. wow that is not how you say that Helgoland bite just to help the sieging out a little bit we still can't siege over instead so let's just take our big stack over and get that ball rolling our save attrition isn't really working if we're not even completing the siege so I handle that. If Britain gets this province striped to them, which they did, we're just not going to give it to them. So. Not a huge priority. We're going to eat more of the eastern side of Provence anyway. We don't want to antagonize our British allies just yet. Soon, but not yet. Go DC Gistria. Yeah, that time will come sooner than I think. That I probably think right now, because if we're going to have to break the alliance with them, they'll then get a peace treaty, and the game ends in the early 1800s regardless, so we'll have to do it yeah, sooner rather than later. Finally, we've completed the Siege of Something, so we're going to take our 40k stack over to try and distract as many of their troops as possible. They will outnumber us slightly unless we move another stack in there, but... I don't really want to. And we said that, we now have this stack free, so maybe it's a bit more a bit more plausible. They're going to Winneker. Now they're not going yet, and I would need to borrow a leader. So I'm going to recombine this stack, send it over to I don't know, send it to Adalia. Who are you? You're the five five two five 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 two guy? Apparently you can travel, my friend. Now also why is this stack not on force march mode? Start that. Yeah, we want you to have a leader, so take Mr. 5552. We're going to wait until they've committed like that, and then we're going to go in and give them the old bopping. Why can't you move? Oh, because of this stupid fort. Okay, fine. We'll just have these two stats come over to assist instead. Poland will hopefully peace out sooner rather than later, but we'll see. We shall certainly see. Well, yeah, that stack quite for 15,000 troops. They are now leaving that siege, which I think we should catch them. Yes, we're going to temporarily again be outnumbered, but I think it's still the right thing to do. Yeah, nothing else crazy is going on right now. We should be fine. We don't need 89,000 troops on stab, though, so let's take a stack of these away. Have them go to Latinburg. Poland does still have a lot of troops hanging around. I mean, it makes sense. It's a big nation. How many troops does the game think it has? Yeah, 112,000. I'd rather not be beating them up so aggressively, but they just won't peace out. Yeah, they still won't even white piece, so... We're just going to have to continue battering them until they'll cooperate. Okay, and we can't get that stack yet, so we're just going to spread out. Again, reduce attrition as much as possible. As soon as the siege ends at prison, or however it's pronounced, prison, <laughs> prison, then we can start finally dealing with this. 
I wonder if we're going to have to end up allying Lithuania to protect them against Russia, because Poland clearly isn't going to be capable of doing it anymore. Uh, we should probably get benign diplomats. That improved relationships bonus of 25% will hopefully help with some of the outliers of Europe's aggressive expansion against us. And then just next tech level, we'll just not get an idea. Still sieging silly too. Okay. Still won't white piece out. Nope. Can anybody else get out of the way though? Let's have a look. We have... Can't piece out Brittany yet. Luxembourg we could probably piece out. We need we need land from Luxembourg. Man, I wish we just had an overlay without me having to constantly go back. <laughs> yeah, we do. We need the province of Rethelwa. We don't need Luxembourg itself, though, which is interesting. We do need to take the one province off Navarre. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it's not too bad. And then, yes, for Poland, we only need two provinces. Are they in the same... Okay, no, perfect. They're not even in the same state as Buzo. Or Buzo, Buzo, I don't know. Who knows? People from that area of the world, probably, but I'm not that, so... <laughs> Spoiler alert, I don't know. Siege of Strasbourg. Beautiful. Theoretically, Britain shouldn't claim any of this land. They have no link to it. I think we confirmed before we don't need silly, right? Oh my word, clicking all the wrong buttons. It's that tab. Yeah, we don't need it. Although it is in the same state as all of the other provinces in a certain location, so I'm tempted just to be like, too bad, so sad. What will 30 aggressive expansion do, practically speaking? I mean, it'll technically put Russia in a coalition against us, but let's be real. That's going to happen regardless. I'm not that worried about that event happening because despite how bad the coalition is, and don't get me wrong, there's a lot of nations in here. I'm not that worried about Russia. Yes, they have a crazy number of troops. Our troops are better than theirs, and if they attack us, then the Timurids are going to jump in, and yes, they don't have anywhere near as many troops, but that's a lot of land they're going to have to keep occupied. And we're allied to Bengal as well, which is another 154,000 troops, all in the same area. They're essentially doing the job that I wanted Shun to do, but Shun never managed to do because they were rubbish. Yeah. Okay. I'm not that upset then. Speaking of things upset. How has Portugal not had anything to contend with on a upset colony front? And they're not other than Portuguese Mexico, nobody's really that close to revolting either. I'm very surprised. Yeah, the thirteen colonies is not actively in revolt against Britain, but they are definitely not cooperating. But they're not, they're probably not big enough to help. At least not yet. Because that's one thing we could do. We could break our alliance with Britain and then support the independence of the 13 colonies and use that as an excuse to take land from Britain. But the problem with that is I have to wait for 13 colonies to declare independence and they might not give me the land I want anyway. So there's a lot of problematic variables in there. Anyway, this episode's been going on for ages. I haven't even realized we're like 35 minutes in. We'll finish off this war next episode. Hopefully you'll stick around and you've been enjoying it. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye now. Thank you for watching the video. And if you'd like to see more, feel free to stick around.